panic or uh, no panic or, you know, are you panicked? Are you not panicked? What are you thinking about these guys? Um, I, again, I don't think I can be panicked on any player. Sure. That's not named J.K. Dobbins. I, I Let's think, see if we can do it. I think that's fair enough, but we're going to play the game anyway. Week one, why not? Let's have a little bit of fun. No, we're not having any fun. <laughs> I'm having Zero fun. fun, sir. Go back to your shanties. Speak for yourself. Um, all right, so some games we didn't cover. Panthers, Falcons. Mm-hmm. Are we panicking? Drake, London, Pitts. I think you have to be a little bit panicked, and here's why. They won. Mm-hmm. Arthur Smith doesn't give a fuck what you think, okay? Yeah. And they won handily. Now, Fal- or Panthers, they got some stuff to figure out. I thought their defense held strong initially. Horn, that went, run Horn game, went down uh, right around the midpoint of that game. Oh, maybe that was it, yeah. and, and Not that it mattered because Drake London didn't get any ball. No, he had one target, <laughs> yeah. and Pitts had two targets. Right. One of them was an amazing catch, right? right. Uh, it was amazing. But... The fact that they're going to win and they have, I mean, Bijan was everything you ever wanted to see. And Algier was out there off the rip. Well, if you, looking if, great, if right? you recall the beginning of last season, until somebody went down in that offense, it was like 10 carries, 10 carries, 10 carries for all the backs, right? Yeah. You know? It was until, um, uh, I don't even, some, some jag went down. Huntley, maybe? Yeah, Caleb Huntley. Yeah, that's who it was. Um, until uh, Algier two. bust out for a thousand, but he picked but up right where he left off. Bijan yeah. had a thirty-three percent target rate, though. That is uh, fucking yeah. fantastic. Bijan's just incredible. He's just, yeah. He has Lamar Jackson type twitch for right, a and it's okay back. for them to kind of slow bring him along. Please and say, do. Hey, Please do. You know, we don't. Need you got to, a stud. You could win every yeah. play with him. It, Algier is a good back. Right. No. Right. For sure. Uh, no, there's no doubt that he's a good back. You can't. But, there's no arguments but here. But back to Drake London and Kyle Pitts. I mean. It, they're going to be in more competitive games, and it was competitive. It was like tied in the first half. I mean, he still it was ran, the second half. When it, they when still it really, ran the most routes of any of the of any of the pass catchers. Sure. So I get they're still they're but they're out there they're out there just running wind sprints, right? Or blocking. You know. You know what I mean? Like who are they throwing the ball to? I, I still love both those players. The talent is there, and if you're playing dynasty, then you should not be panicking. You should not panic. Sell Drake London and Kyle Pitts, but I'm. I don't want to play Drake London if I can help it. Well, yeah, you, but, yeah. But the week you don't, he's going to pop off for that's fine. Ten, you know what I mean? That's fine. He's on my bench you're, right you're, now. Yeah. You're also not going to be playing. You're not going to be in this game script situation where you only have to pass eighteen game, eighteen times most games. They're playing a rookie quarterback and his first start in a divisional game on the road. Um, or were they in Carolina? They were in Atlanta, no, it was right? at Atlanta, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so you know you, you can get away with a little bit more, and 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 Arthur Smith is going to play that Tennessee Titan brand football when he's allowed to, um, yep. and I think they can open it up. You saw uh, Ritter throw a little bit more at the end of the season; thought he maybe had some promise there. You saw the the, the attempts uptick a little bit. And it's okay to also bring Ritter along. Like, hey, if we don't have to do this with basically our rookie quarterback, let's not. Let's go get the win. Let's get some confidence. Uh, let's keep going. Every game is not going to be like this. We're going to have to get in there, get dirty, and throw the ball around a little bit. But there are certainly going to be games where they can get away with just how they played. Yeah. Because uh, that they've improved their defense, um, and, and they've got an awesome running game. Like, yeah. they, are, they are going to smash you. Yeah. Um, and, and that's the thing. They're going to – I mean – you can, you know what I mean. You bring you bring Algier in there, and then you you have him work the defense, and then you just give the ball to Bijan and just let him cook because Algier's going to wear that defense down, and then Bijan's going to going to break off some sixty and seventy yard carries in yeah. the offense. Right. Uh, so yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying, Jason. I'm I'm still fine with both Drake London and Pitts. I know that they're I good thought, players. Again, I th- I was higher on London, but I've again the Pitts hype has just been. I get it. Well, I get it, it. I get it. It would it would it would already have exploded if there was passes. He he yeah. gets open. He's in the worst. He's, all, he's in the worst offense. Right. For him. It's a situation, and sometimes that's that. It is what it is, man. Like, if you don't want to buy into Pitts, it's fine. I, I'm I'm I'll buy Pitts and Drake at every stop, and at some point, I think you'll get a change. Uh, yeah. Whether one it's, way or another, whether it's him or the offense. Right. Um. And what, I don't, is it, what is this year three in the offense? Year three. So he's got the he's got. This year and two more years if they pick up his fifth year option, which right. I don't know why they wouldn't. Right. Uh, Ritter had eighteen pass attempts. You right, know? right. That's what I'm saying. They're not going to be able to get away with that every game, uh, but I think they can in some. So it's going to be hot and cold. Uh, Pitts probably stays in my lineup for the most part. I'd be okay with with benching 
Um, who they got next? Green Bay? Is that what that says? Yep. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they got after Fields pretty good. Uh, but so and then they're certainly probably a more look, competitive team than Carolina. Right. So, so I'd, I'd, I'd roll Drake one more week unless I had a great an, an awesome another option. In Dynasty, you maybe might if, not have maybe a if I picked option. up maybe if I picked up Puka, maybe yeah. I roll Puka. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. but because, well, you know, the targets you, are going to be there. Yeah, and, you know, the Rams are probably playing behind next week. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. All right. Uh, panic on Miles Sanders at all. Uh, a little bit. I wouldn't say a ton, but I definitely thought the Chuba work was a bit more than I thought it was going to be. I mean, Sanders still played more on early downs and goal line, uh, but Chuba got the short yardage and all the third down work. But um, so again, I I thought that Sanders was going to be more more involved than he went, and Chuba was going to be less involved. But um, we'll see how that happens with game script as well, too. So I mean, yeah. Sanders was banged up coming in the preseason off, as well, too. So a little bit. I'm I'm like. Three percent panicked. Yeah, I, I'd say six targets and eighteen carries. It, that that stat line looks better than it did watching the game. Right, and he still got you double digit fantasy points. Yeah, uh, he he not a whole lot of concern. A, a the scotch, offensive line. I'll give you a scotch of concern. Yeah, three percent, maybe five. Yeah, but again, I'm sticking with three. I'm always concerned about Miles Sanders because he's just so like health wise flimsy. I mean, but how dare you say about the <laughs> about the member of the dashboard crew? He's yeah, flimsy, flimsy. Don't guy. worry. Oh, don't worry. The dashboard crew is gonna be growing hey, here in like who, two. Who's years. gonna need to stop on the way to the dashboard concert because he's something's wrong? You know what I mean? Chuba got Miles all the, Sanders. Chuba gets all the third down work with with eight third down uh, snaps there. But Miles did play more so on the two minute drill. So right again, right. I'm, I'm, I think there's room I'm for hope, Miles to take even more back. From exactly. This, I, so. Yeah, this could be. It's too early to tell here, but you know what I mean. Just yeah. All right, let's go next. Jacksonville, um, Indianapolis. Christian Kirk panic. Played a possible 37 of 38 snaps in 11 personnel, but only 6 of 21 in 12 personnel, and none of the 11 snaps in 13 or 22. Just really quick here, I wish I had more Calvin Ridley oh shares. My oh, my God. He my God. Like well, indeed, I just got to check my notes here. Let's see. <laughs> we need a legal cam. A legal I pad got, cam. I got, I got two uh, pads here. <laughs> oh, flipping. Ridiculous. Flipping. Just type the shit in on the computer. Calvin Ridley did indeed not forget how to catch. All oh. right. There we go. Uh, there was. Stupid. I posted a fucking stupid tweet and the amount of people who were like appalled that. Oh, he hasn't played football. In a year, but motherfucker, you thought he forgot how to catch. The only possible thing you could say about Calvin Ridley is maybe he might get injured from not playing in a while. You think. My man just forgot how to catch the ball. He went out there. You look like an idiot. If well, you know he had a bad broad jump. Right. Yeah. Just completely uh, pa- so dumb. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Kirk, so dumb. Kirk definitely um, uh, has to be. Uh, panic meter might be the highest on Christian Kirk right now. That, yeah. that, and there was a little bit of that in the preseason, and I was like, eh, you know, preseason, take it for what it is. And it's week one, yeah. but we're, we're down under like a, like a, a threshold of snap share that we haven't seen. This is a guy who had five, six targets in, in a ton of fucking games last year. Yeah. Um, the fact that he was, what out, was Zay, Zay, Jay Jones he wasn't in two wide receiver sets as a, as a, he, crazy. he was in six of 21 and 12, which means that's your two uh, wide receivers. So Zay and Ridley are out there and then none of the 11 snaps in 13 or 22. Crazy. Um, so, you know, that that's just a decent amount of snaps. A guy that it's as good as Christian, which is wild that he was so good last year. And Zay's just getting the nod in the two two wide receiver sets. Zay now they're, now they're going to now they're gonna play a decent amount of three. Yeah, um, I would say they're probably in three more. So than and, and Calvin and Kirk's going to have his games just pretty worried here. Um, that, that doesn't that that my panic. That's the this is the highest panic level I have of a of a player who I've got good faith in is a good player. I just I don't know how that rotation's going to bode in his favor. And, and week one, not good. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think you, you obviously can't sell Christian Kirk. Um, and I, I don't know that I would necessarily say buy Christian Kirk. Uh, he's he's got a contract with the Jags. We we'll just got to see how this usage works out. I played Christian Kirk this week. Instead of, uh, I think I could have played Dalvin or I forget who the other player was, but I played Christian Kirk thinking, hey, Colts, we don't know, uh, yeah. you know, and, and he's out of the lineup for sure. You can't put Christian Kirk in the lineup next week, right? Mm-hmm. Got to be out. Mm-mm. All right. So a little bit of panic meter on Christian Kirk there. 
Looks like, um, uh, speaking of the Jags defense, looks like uh, ETN still good at football. <laughs> he is indeed still good at football. No panic meter on ETN. The Tank Bigsby hype. He got the touchdown at the end, which fucking Trevor Lawrence could have ran that in if he wanted to. And then ETN comes right back, says not so fast. There was another big play that ETN could have had where Trevor just missed him uh, in receiving wise. Uh, e- ETN just absolutely out there kicking wieners in. Um, yeah. So... Yeah, Wait, tank, hold on, hold on. tank had a yeah. <laughs> tank had a had a costly fumble and a tip ball intercepted. Uh, you yeah. know, so I, I, I tank still very much you know in my heart. But this is what I was talking about when I tweeted that out and was saying I don't understand where all this te- like Travis that was his rookie season, man. Like, and he crushed. Yeah. And, and there are certainly going to be games. We know that that, that 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 the Jaguars want to have another guy in the yeah, mix. Yeah, and I'm not saying I'm not saying Tank Bigsby's dead. I'm no, just saying certainly I think, not. I think that I think that ETN hate was a bit. Was it was a bit, crazy. Yeah, was a crazy. Bit much. Um, I was right though. I don't want to be dependent on Tank Bigsby to start. I like having him. He's sure. a good player. Who wanted to be dependent on him. him starting? Well, I just said I wouldn't be expecting to start Tank Bigsby. No, I don't even. Th- I mean, he's he's pretty he's far away from standalone, standalone value. value for what he, I say. Well, I mean, yeah. he could. He just he, he could, but it's not any. I don't think it's coming in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, it could it could happen fast though. I mean, it could. You know, he has, he gets a couple of good runs under his belt. He looks. You know, he's just a rookie. Um. So, uh. But Tank. You know, no no threat to ETN as of now. ETN looked good. Uh, Colts, I thought that was a pretty good game, actually. Be- yeah. Better than I expected. Uh, Anthony Richardson didn't look Imagine absolutely Imagine if they had JT. Right. JT. Oh, my gosh. JT <laughs> could have very much helped that game. What and a then stupid owner. Really, what you're seeing from Anthony Richardson as Pittman is all you need to see from Ritter and fucking Drake London, right? You know? Right. Like, hmm, who, who thought Pittman was still good? That's huh? weird. Who would have told you that? That's, I mean, hey, we'll take away that one play. What did he do? <laughs> well, take away everybody's one Take away play. an 83-yard touchdown, right? On a screen? Um, Wild. Yeah. Was it, eight, right. it might not have been that long. He doesn't have uh, it, was, it, was it was long. Pretty long. It was long. Um, all right. Next, the- next guy on the panic meter here, Antonio Gibson. I don't Level know. of panic here. I haven't looked at this one yet. Strong, because everybody was I mean, more B-Rob was taking... B Rob was B Rob was definitely getting uh, a lot more of the. I mean, he ran more routes than Gibson did. He did yeah. everything, uh, way, right? everything yeah. way more. I don't know. What, is that the box score right there? Nineteen to three in terms of carries. Right. Yeah. I mean, just they, they were back to back. I said I'll take whichever one's cheaper. I liked Antonio Gibson coming into this year, and again next week we could see a complete fifty fifty split. Yeah. I don't. You know who who the who, hell knows what exactly. happens. You know. I, I, I have no idea, but panic meter is certainly high. I played Gibson in one league because I like the matchup. Yeah, same. Um, and he's on the bench for sure until otherwise. Uh, yeah. You know, I thought what was going to come in and there was just going to be check downs, passing games, screen games, all run to him. Robinson comes out and, and just dominates uh, in, in most facets. Uh, 25 snaps, 17 routes run. Uh, 43 snaps and 18 routes run for for Robinson. Did not see two targets and one target for Gibson. Like didn't didn't see any of that yeah. coming. Three carries for Gibson. Yeah, you know. Uh, so same amount of carries as Chris Rodriguez. Right. Uh, panic meter is is not quite as high as Christian Kirk because I think you have more invested in Kirk. Yeah. At this point, but Gibson panic meter high. Got to be out of the lineup. Right. Yeah. Um. So, uh, other than that. Let's get to our last one here. James uh, Conner. James Conner, baby. Doing what you need him to do. Not not great, but but fine. Still, I just still would monitor. I would have a Keonta Ingram on the watch list because <laughs> I don't know if Conner's going to make it through 17 games of that. But the Cardinals didn't look terrible. No, and, and Dobbs looked serviceable. Serviceable, yeah. And I, I mean, think, like you said, I think they win the game with Kyler. Yeah. But, I, think, um, I, think Kyler I, think, I think there's no reason to, to be panicking with Dobbs I mean he can run the. I mean he's he's been in that offense he's been in the building for two weeks so right. you got to think he's going to build up some more rapport right. with those and, guys and, and, and Cardinals came in and you know I don't know if Jonathan Gannon's the long-term answer but he's a good defensive coach came in there yeah. got their defense playing good uh you know I, I like what their front office did in the draft this last year uh they, they just seem to be kind of trending in the right direction and I know I talked to Big Co right before the game started and he was you know 
crushing the Cardinals, and he was like, oh, everyone, everyone, everyone's he was like, oh, they're tanking, and I was like, that's the national. Who, who's tanking on the Cardinals? You think the coaching staff's tanking? You think the players on the field are fucking tanking? No. They, like maybe by week six or eight, when you're just getting the shit kicked out of you every week, and you, and you know you're not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah, maybe at that point there's a little less but give not a shit. Week but one, week one, yeah, against yeah. a winnable game right. against the Commanders, right? So. Uh, shout out to the Cardinals. Didn't we, we kind of talked about it on the Patreon episode right before the season started. I didn't think they would be as bad as advertised and it, long season. Well, you know, if they can win a couple games and get Kyler back, shit, be right in the mix of, of, of uh, not being awful. Certainly didn't come out as 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 the number one team in the uh, Caleb Williams sweepstakes for me, I don't think. Right. Or, or still still number one in the Caleb Williams. Sweepstakes. Yeah, I think so. Who would be your number one? Um. I don't know. Maybe the Bears. I don't. Ah, two years in a row. They looked worse than they did last year, for Dude, sure. That was not uh, good. I mean, the Texans could certainly be there, too, but that would be, by default, the Cardinals would accidentally get... Oh, my gosh, yeah. Pick. The Texans, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Could you imagine if the Cardinals get one and two? Yeah, I don't know. Just I, draft I, Caleb Williams and Marvin Harrison Jr. and just say... Right. Say whatever. Yeah, exactly. We're chilling. Yeah, um, and then you can get a, and then whatever you do whatever can get for you Kyler, want for Kyler, or or trade down. All, like, hey, we're sticking with Kyler. We're going to move down to to uh, Caleb, which you probably wouldn't do, but no. uh, just theoretically, you're in good shape. So, last but not least, alluded to it, and we'll wrap up with this: Chicago Bears offense panic meter. Pretty panicked. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not panicking about any individual player, but just they just haven't figured anything out on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, I mean that's that's definitely not bull junk. That's not bull junk. Yeah. That's a that's a panic meter. Yeah, that's and then and then just these. I'm looking at these, the participation here. Just Dubs was tied for third in snaps. Oh, Dubs. Yeah, and I he mean, still had two touchdowns. Packers wise, I mean, I'm I, I feel good. And Romeo limited. Like I'm my my 14th round Dubs loving loving Romeo Romeo. Romeo loves love, all right? And yeah. love loves Romeo. So let's let's just get that out of the way. Let's get a healthy Romeo and see how good that season could be. Musgrave had a good he's four for 50. Musgrave dropped that S. Yep. Uh, That's why I said Musgrave. <laughs> uh, he, did, he did look good. It could be a waiver wire pickup there. Could have had a, should have had a touchdown. She, uh, had, she had five snaps for the Packers this week. Who's that? Tell me. Used to wear number 14. Oh, Navy Clifford. Blue and white. The Clifford. Had a carry. But on on the Bears side of things, man, you I, I read a stat where I, Justin Fields didn't throw a ball in the air or had three passes that were over 10 yards in the air. Yeah. Now, there were some plays out there where Justin Fields looked good, where he made some good decisions. He threw the ball pretty well and he ran around. He does what he does. But everything else was a check down to the running back or a tight end in the flat. And it was like, this is awful, like just awful. He's holding the ball forever. I just, I don't know how much of it is. I didn't, I, I didn't have access to the all 22s today, so I couldn't zoom out, see what the route concepts and everything yeah. was. But just from the baseline watch of the, of the broadcast view, it's like, man, this is not good. Like it was, it was pretty ugly to watch. I, I think panic meter is, is pretty high for bears offense uh, right off the rip. DJ Moore, two catches mm. Darnell Mooney with, with the only, touchdown of the game and the only real uh fantasy points of the game from receiver pos uh position command mooney baby seven targets i love mooney i think he's great that's probably going to be up and down just it was just like the we saw it in the preseason everybody got hyped about it it was two screens yeah and that's what they lived on and it was just like they came back and were kind of doing some of that and a lot of check downs to the backs and it was just like man it's Checks. just it's just not great you know speaking of check downs to the backs Roshan, baby. Roshan, 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 Roshan. I loved it. He looked great. And I was a little bit in trashy cleanup, mop-up area. You didn't but see he a whole was, lot of him. But he was but, still playing. He right. played w way more third downs. He's he's just, he's bigger than Herbert. Yeah. Um, He's the best. Looked good. He's the best Made pass plays. protector they have. Right. Uh, so I, 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 I wheels up for, for Roshan maybe a little earlier than expected. Now, next week. We don't know how it goes. He might get, but I, I thought it might be. I thought there might be a buy low window to start with Roshan, and, and right off the rip, I think I'd be going in hoping for a down game somewhere in the next one or two that he doesn't get quite as much and, and try to acquire Roshan. Yeah, what I saw there was great. Whether or not it's Fields and Eberflutes at the helm for very long over there 
TBD. Now, yeah. Fields fantasy quarterback wise is always going to be just fine. Yeah. Um, because of the the rushing upside is is so he's he's dynamic uh, with those legs. But it's like you got to be able to sit in that pocket and throw the ball. You got to be able to use those legs when you need to use the legs and not depend on using the legs, which is, you know, we've seen all the quarterbacks that seemingly that you had question marks and now have staying power. You've seen them do that. Yeah. Um, like even it, you saw that with Richardson a bit. He's right. He's a, he's a, he ran a four, he can run a four, four, but he was still scrambling. Trying still with to play the position. Downfield. Exactly. Right. And it just seems like fields either holding the ball for a while and then just waiting for everything to clear out and take off. I don't know if he's not seeing it. I don't know if the call isn't good. Those guys, all the guys that have been uh, the Hurts the and the Lamars and the uh, and now uh, Anthony Richardson have all gotten put into good situations, good systems yeah. that, that that play to their strengths and weaknesses and let them grow and develop, gain confidence. I'm not sure we've ever we have seen that yet from Getzey and Fields. Yeah, um, I don't. I, I mean, you know what? You know, I think it might be the more we're talking about this, the more and more I'm just like, yeah, I don't know if. Justin Fields is long for the Bears, and that's unfortunate for him. It's just I don't know that he meshes well with whatever's going on there because, yeah. I mean, he, he he's not part of their – he wasn't part of their um, – like, Draft? Yeah, exactly. He, Ryan, Ryan Poles didn't draft him. Matt Eberflus didn't draft him. They had an option to get out this year if they wanted to. They did, but, I mean, I Maybe can't really – Maybe they didn't love those options. I, I, exactly. Like I, you know what I mean? I feel like Fields has more upside. Well, I guess you could take – I don't know if he's got the same – you could, I guess you could say that him and Richardson are probably, in terms of upside, probably. How much difference close. would it make if you put Richardson in the same position as Fields in that same system? You know, I, but you, I don't you could know fuck him up too. It could, but I, th- I think at the same time that Richardson's again, he's trying to, he's scrambling to throw the ball still. He's not just going through. All right, read one, read two, tuck and run. Right, or check it down to the running back. Uh, everything for Richardson was on the right side, uh, but. Mm. That's first fucking start. Uh, yeah. that, that's start one. And you got Jordan Love on the other side who did some of what Fields was doing, checking it down. But that's start two for uh, Jordan, Jordan Love, Love really. Yeah. You know, and that's start h- how many for Fields? You know, I just yeah. obviously, he, you know, Love has been sitting for a while. But, it, you know, did Love look absolutely awesome? No, but he operated how he needed to operate and got it done when he needed to get it done. And, you know, was was. uh Aaron Jones, great. Yes, Aaron Jones was great. Um, but, you know, he's out there without Watson, without a full strength Romeo Dubs, with a rookie tight end and a rookie. Basically, Jalen Reed, your number one guy, was a, a rookie slot player. Uh, yeah. You know, you're out there with Wicks starting on the outside. Uh, you know, so uh, Aaron Jones and what was your best option. And it is going to continue to be your best option for most of the season. He's great. Well, um, well, well. well. We'll, we'll see how that hammy is going. Right, gone. right. But well, he pulled up and didn't like you know, that. So at just all. looking at those two situations, I definitely, you know, not settled at all. With uh, I'm not playing a whole. Claypool needs to not be on the field. He's a liability. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but what else? I mean, who else are you going to roll out there? Yeah, Tyler Scott. Tyler I Scott, don't know. I guess. Just you know what I mean. Somebody else. Somebody just Jones. Just, somebody that cares. I don't know. He just looks. He just looks yeah. dejected. I guess you just roll. I just you could roll some twenty, some twelve personnel. And yeah. Just have Kmet and Equinemia still okay. around. This is. I don't know. Probably. Th- <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, you know. So, just just concerned with the Bears a little bit here. A lot. Yeah, not a lot to not a lot to um, uh, say positively about. Week the Bears. two could be completely different, but again, we're we're week we're one in Tampa, right. so we'll see what happens. Right, but you know we didn't talk about that game, but that was yeah, you know, that was certainly Tampa, a bit of a sh- certainly a bit of a surprise. Tampa looked decent. Baker Chip Chippy Baker, you know, out there. Yeah, Mike fucking Evans. Mike Evans. <laughs> Mike. Sure, sure. Hey, I got one more guy. I know we already covered this game, and I'm not sure exactly that we talked too much about it. But Najee Harris is that someone that we should be panicking on because had a 24 yard rush so right. Whew, but it was a 25 almost so broke I don't think that explosive, explosive play run. uh narrative right in half it's gotta be 25 to be explosive no, I don't, again i think I, I think i'm throwing most of the usage of this game out because yeah. it was just you ran the ball 10 times I well mean, there's all these reports and all whatever you know, I, i've uh, never seen uh, uh the media did, push harder for for a running back who, who the team is telling you that we're not 
Warren's not taking his job. Yeah. Like, yes, Warren should be on third down. Warren's a good player. Warren should mix in. We should keep Najee healthy, just like every other fucking team in the league. Look at how efficient was Jalen Warren Two this week. Two yards for fuck per fucking carry. Do you yeah. think they, that anybody mentioned that? Not no. a single not a, person. No, it's just the just usage. The, just the catches. Just not the catches when the they were down 30. Cat, carry. Yeah. When they were down 30. And why the hell would you put Najee back right. out on that field right. when you are getting beat up like that? And yeah. he got smashed in the beginning of that game. Uh, by Fred Warner, and a lot, of came, guys, a lot of guys are going to get smashed here by Fred <laughs> right. Warner. He came back and had a nut, and then they're like, "Well, it was a run in the two minute where Najee broke it." And it's like, "Fuck, I don't give a shit when the run was." He's you know one under that, but you know, no, not not concerned. And it's not again. I, I don't hate Jalen Warren at all. I think he's a good player. I think he should be out on the field more, and you should rotate him in. I don't, he's not taking anything. He's not taking the backfield from yeah, Najee I'm Harris. I'm saying that's a 60-40 ceiling for, for, right. for Warren. Right. I agreed. So, no, I don't, I don't think so. That's Week two does. It stinks that they got the Browns coming in who just, you know, also have a, a, a pretty aggressive attacking defense. Um, but division rival always a little different than, yeah. you know, somebody coming in from the NFC who you don't see often. A little bummed about Kenny. I thought he was going to thought. Yeah, he, he he shaped up a little bit in there. I, I think Kenny's going to be just fine. Yeah, uh, I mean, losing Deontay and Pat and Pat, losing Deontay and Pat obviously doesn't help as well. Yeah, he was sluggish to start, a little off. Then he got comfortable, made some good throws. The Pat throw touchdown was good. He made some other good throws, made some other good yeah. reads. I'm looking forward to start. going back and watching some condensed, condensed yeah. games this week. Yeah, no, not, not worried. So 